Hey everyone, it's Konami Ai, and today I will be reviewing and unboxing the June 2016 Doki Doki box by Japan Crate. Guys, it is already June for these boxes. If you've been following my journey since January, we have had so much fun unboxing these guys. Any skepticism that I've had in the past, like everything is gone. I am 100% behind the Doki Doki box. I have claimed last month's box was my favorite. So we'll see if this one will hold up to that. Please forgive me, I am sniffling a little bit because we are having some super huge weather changes here. It's deciding whether or not it wants to be rainy or if it wants to be sunny. So my sinuses are completely out of whack and I apologize, I'm super sorry about that. <coughs> we are still continuing with the new box design with the cute little heart and wings. And as always, I love to show the back part that says Daisuke, which means we love you. Doki Doki, I love you too. So let's crack this guy open and see what we get. Man, Hoist, can you, can you drink that any louder? No, wait for my dog to stop drinking his water. It could take a while. Just so you know, I know almost nothing about this box. I usually try and stay off of anything that would give me any spoilers. I did see one item that is in this box and that is because a coworker of mine who is also subscribed had it on at work and I just so happened to say like, oh, is that from the Doki Doki box? And she said, yeah, so I know one item. Bam! As per usual, we are treated to this awesome magazine. It is box number seven and it is June 2016. Here is the artwork. We have a picture of a lot of fluffy things. The art is by Mochi. I'm seeing some hair clips, cherries, a lot of things in the hair, bows, and band-aids. So I'm guessing that this month's box has something to do with Decora. If we open to the first page, actually I was wrong. It is about Harajuku street fashion. It has this description about what Harajuku street fashion is. On the second page, we have design your own Take Omo. And the third page is the Doki Doki for Koma comic strip. We get two, two strips every month. And then the middle section has this Take Omo blurb. I don't know what it's about yet, but I'm sure we will find out. The middle portion, of course, has all of the things that are inside this Harajuku fashion box. The fourth page shows the Suteki Crate winner and what they won. It looks like it was just a random assortment of really, really cute stuff. It doesn't look like there's any like theme or anything, but I could be wrong. The second to last page shows the Doki Doki cover art, uh, the artist Mochi, and it's an interview with her, him, them. And on the back, of course, it shows people who use the hashtag Doki Doki Crate on their social media. And once again, I'm not in it. One of these days, guys, I'm gonna be in the back of that magazine and I will stop pounding Toki Doki for them to do that. Let's get into the items. So the first thing I pulled out was this. It looks like it is a Snoopy Quee, Q-E-E, -E, blind box. This is interesting. I've never seen like the Peanuts characters like this. Then I do remember when Charles Schultz died and I was actually really sad. One of the first piano pieces I ever forced myself to learn was Linus and Lucy from the Peanuts. I'm sure merchandise exists elsewhere, but this is kind of a different spin on things. It is a Dark Horse Deluxe line box and it is a series one. So I'll show you the top. Uh, this is what's on the front. On the back side, we have the 18 different possibilities. On the side, we have Snoopy. On the other side, we have, this is what Woodstock, the little bird that he's always with. This is what he always says. And then on the bottom, we just have barcodes. So let's rip into this and see which one we got. Opening it up. We got a silver bag. So on the back where it shows the different possibilities for the Snoopies, it also shows like 
one in 30, one in eight. So the, the chances of you getting each specific one. I can't really pick one that's my favorite. I think if I really had to choose between them, I would want this Galaxy Snoopy or maybe this one right here with the pink swatches or of course the classic colors for Snoopy. And this is what we got. Kind of reminds me of those little, those bears, those Kudo Boto or the Robo. I don't remember what they're called, but they were bears. And it looks like it's the same type of thing where you can actually like take apart pieces. I got this purpley blue one. A new collectible Snoopy Klee figure coming to you first in this month's Doki Doki Crate before he's available anywhere else. In the spirit of Harajuku, the famous beagle comes in an array of styles. Will you get a chic hue, a funky print, or perhaps a cool metallic? There are 18 possibilities. Let's see what the chances of this are getting. It's one of the common ones. It's one in 60. Well, I think it's cute. I know exactly where it's gonna go. It's gonna go right on my desk. Next up, I'm picking up one of these plushies because I saw it and it's adorable. Look at what we got, guys. It's a Hope Chan plushie. Ah. So it says, Hope Chan is known for her adorably squishy cheeks and now she comes in an even squishier form. Her fancy sequin bow is inspired by Harajuku and there's a ball chain so you can take her anywhere you go. So right now my car is Hello Kitty. I have Hello Kitty everywhere. Car seats, floor mats, my steering wheel cover, my air freshener. There are little things in my car that make me smile. And slowly I have been introducing Hope Chan. She is hanging from my GPS phone mount and from where my rear view mirror is. And this is just gonna be the perfect addition. This is like perfectly sized. Um, her little cheeks are cute. She has a lot of sequins on her bow. On her butt tag, there's a little Hope Chan and then her licensing as well as Sun Hoseki made in China on the back. I'm really glad that they added something that they're constantly putting in every box. If anything, with a subscription box service, having something from month to month to month to month actually makes you feel like you're actually collecting something. You can start building up a collection from the ground up pretty soon. If you continue with a subscription box service like Doki Doki, you'll have a lot of one item and you can show it off to your friends like I do in my car. So I see another plushie in here. What is this? What is this? This is so adorable. On the tag, it says Take Omo. It says, Take is a young, foolhardy boy with a dream of becoming Harajuku's number one fashion icon. Omo is Take's older sister, known for her playful, youthful sense of style. She'll never reveal her true age. If you saw last month's video, you'll know that there was a Japan Crate exclusive plush and it was the macaroon looking um, bunny rabbit. And this is a Japan Crate exclusive plush as well, as you can tell on the butt tag. Let's read up on it. It says, Take Omo, Take Omo plush. Welcome the newest additions to our exclusive Doki Doki plushie line, Take and Omo. To learn more about these fashionable dogs, see page four. Who's hiding in your crate, the playful Omo or the daring Take? I thought they were pigs, but it looks like they're dogs. Whoopsies. So let's head on to page four to see what they're talking about. So it says, meet Take and Omo, our newest addition to Japan Crate plushie line. Designed for a Harajuku themed crate, this brother and sister duo come decked out in their favorite fashion style, Decora. So I was kind of right, like a little bit. Take, pronounced Take, is a crazy young pup that dreams of becoming the next Decora fashion icon of Harajuku. He was named after the street Takeshita Dori and makes sure to strut up and down his namesake street every day in hopes of getting his photo taken for magazines. His goal is to be in 10,000 photos this year, so you may see him jumping in the background of other models' photos. Omo, pronounced Omo, is Take's older sister. Although she's named after the more refined and upscale street, Omote Sando, Omo refuses to dress her age. We're not sure how old she really is as she refuses to tell people and will cry if Take tries to reveal it. As a big believer that fashion has no age limit, you can find Omo on Takeshita Dori with her brother in full Decora gear. These two fashion forward dogs are excited for their international debut and are hoping to spread Decora fashion worldwide. So as you can tell, I got Omo, I got the older sister, and they have a button up here. They have these adorable cheeks. Take has stars and Omo has hearts. 
and this is all embroidered right here so it's a really nice plush those are things that I really like about plushes if they're not just stuck on there like felt but these are actually like fully embroidered pieces so they're very high quality even right here on the band-aid it feels very high quality and while they're simplistic shapes they're just really really cute and like I said when you start collecting things the amuse plush that I got in the April box the the plush I got last month and this one you're gonna start collecting these guys and they're gonna start becoming like a bigger thing so doki doki I was afraid that a lot of the items wouldn't be cohesive in terms of like later on like I would feel like I'd have to find uses for them but really these things are perfect for little ornaments or something and they don't look out of place when they're all together. So if you have a corner where you can put this stuff, it'll actually start building up and looking pretty darn cute. So with that being said, this Take and Omo plushie is actually part of page two's Take Omo contest. And if you get the box and you take pictures with uh, each of these plushies, you can actually get an amazing Galaxy Ultraman jacket and an Amuse plush bag. So um, if you have one of these guys, take pics and send them to Japan Crate and enter that contest. And let me know if you guys win because this Galaxy Ultraman jacket looks pretty legit. Alrighty guys, next up, I have this. So right off the bat, as soon as I saw this, I saw that it is made of vinyl and it has an eye. I immediately thought of Kiari Kiari Pamyu. I've always thought like it would be cool to have something like this, but I was never gutsy enough to go out and buy it. So now that I have one, it's kind of like an excuse to wear it. This is actually produced by Sun Hoseki, the same people that produce Hopechan. So I'm gonna put this in my hair and read the description of what it is. Eyeball hair bow. Channel your inner Kiari Pamu Pamu. That's funny. Channel your inner Kiari Pamu Pamu with these super kawaii hair bows. A mix of weird and cute, these bows are exactly Kiari's style and are iconic of the Harajuku decor style. Pom pom pom. Pom pom, whip pom pom, pom pom, whip pom, whip pom pom. At my work, I actually wear hair bows a lot. Let's see if my boss actually notices that it has an eyeball on it. Next up, I have a set of stickers. I'm looking at them and I have no idea what this is. I'm assuming it's a food item of some sort. Um, it says Mayo Puri Zipper Pull and Sticker Sheet. Meet Mayo Puri. He's an adorable little bottle of Japanese mayonnaise that hangs around the kitchen with his condiment friends. Did you know Japanese mayonnaise comes in a squeeze bottle? Puri Puri is the sound effects for something squishy and is sweeter than Western mayonnaise. Gotcha. This is one of those things that I get in the box where I'm just like, oh, I get it. I, I feel it. I understand it. Mm. Now that I know that he's a bottle of mayonnaise, it's a little easier to explain to some people. A lot of people look at my collection of stuff and ask me what it's all about, and sometimes I'm just like, you know what, you just wouldn't understand. Japan does have an affinity for giving anthropomorphic features to non-living like living things, so this is totally not weird to me. Putting faces on things is something that I can appreciate, so. These are gonna go somewhere. There was a second part to all of that. It's Mayo Puri as a zipper pole. So you'll see that it has like this little clasp right here. You can connect it as like a phone charm or something like that. So since he's adorable all by himself, I can probably stick this on something and no one will even ask me what it's about. The next thing, it looks like it's like a group of things. It has a pin, grunchy, a thing and this. Before I start, this is the thing that I saw my friend had at my job. And it is a bracelet that is a zipper. How cool is that? That looks so cool. And it just comes apart with a little clasp here. And then we snap it into place. If I can do this by myself. <laughs> That's what it looks like and you can zip it back up. I know where these have to go. So I just got off the phone with my friend who is a Decora lover. I've seen her do Decora fashion for the past three years. 
and I know where these need to go. I'm gonna pick the cutest ones that I can and stick them on my face. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. She usually has like these really cool jewels and like there's a special glue. <gasps> oh, there's a little star. Hey, this is kind of cool. I hope I'm not offending real decor people now. I'm super sorry if I am. I actually understand now why you guys do that because this is fun. I think it's adorable. Kind of feel, I feel, I feel cute. Yay! The description in here has these marked as Mayo Pootie zipper pull and sticker sheet, but I'm assuming that was just like a rush job to get this um, magazine thing out. So it says in the description, these mix and match accessories will help add some Harajuku flair to any outfit. Each crate comes with two colorful hair scrunchies that double as bracelets, a funky zipper, bracelet and a set of adorable pins. For some fashion tips, check out our blog at blog.japancrate.com. So my first bracelet is this cool like phone cord bracelet. And you can see it's a layered effect. So it's clear over that rainbow effect. And so it looks like this along with the zipper pull bracelet. The other one that I got was this cute little already made foam bow. And it can be a bracelet too, but I actually kind of want to put it in my hair. There we go. I got a pin that has my favorite animal on it and that is a panda. Look at this, so cute. So we're just gonna stick that right here. Yeah! Ah, I'm feeling very Harajuku right now. So the next item is this right here. It is the monthly Hopechan, and it says, this month's Hopechan comes with a lovely decora style bow. Hopechan loves Harajuku fashion and she even has her own shop there. We can't wait to see what other fashion trends Hopechan will try next. I totally thought that this was going to be my only Hopechan thing in the box. So it means that I get to open and put two things in my car now. Oh, she's so cool. She is this pretty pearl pink with her adorable cheeks. The cheeks and the bows are always my favorite. This, like my bracelet, is a layered style where underneath it, it's like the pattern and then on top of it, it's clear. So you can see inside. It's gonna look so perfect next to the other one inside my car. Next up, we have this. Thing. At first I thought it was a mouse pad, but it looks like it's a hanky. It's the Chakun handkerchief. And if you remember, Chakun is another property licensed through Hope Chan's company, San Hoseki. It says, one night in Harajuku, all the lost accessories came together with a bit of kawaii magic and Chakun was born. He's a magical pouch that has a zipper mouth to help hold all your accessories so that they will never be lost again. This month we have him as a hand towel. People in Japan always carry a hand towel or handkerchief because public restrooms don't have paper towel. Oh, Japan doesn't have paper towels? Oh my, okay, I get that. I can, I respect that. This, if I'm going to Japan anytime soon, I will remember that. I will be sure to pack chakun with me as well as a bunch of other handkerchiefs as well. I just want to open it so I can feel it. It's going against what I originally thought. This is not just like a terry cloth. It actually has some like texture to it. It feels like those super chamois that you can get that absorb a lot of water. And I can understand why this would be super helpful in those situations. If you're in a restroom, you're washing your hands and then you go, you can just kind of do that. Last item is this, and I saved it for last because I kind of saw it out of the corner of my eye and I was like, oh, gotta wait for that one. It is the Hatsune Miku lanyard. Keep track of your keys, schoolwork ID, or your VIP concert badge. Accented with a music charm to show your love for music, the Hatsune Miku lanyard comes with two prints. One side features all the Vocaloid singers and the other features the number one Japanese Vocaloid idol herself, Miku-chan. I have a Hatsune Miku lanyard already just because I got one with my Project Mirai game for the Nintendo 3DS. But can we just look at this for a second? We have Luka and Len and Mako and Kaito and Rin and Miku. And these are really cute, but look at the other side. She looks super adorable in this pose. She looks taller than like her mini super deformed Nendoroid size. In the badge section where you can put like your ID and stuff, 
it's a collectible sticker of that exact same pose. And there's the little charm for musical note. And it has uh, the breakaway right here, which is really convenient. This is gonna go with all of my Miku stuff. I am kind of excited about this because I also collect Miku items, which I'll probably be starting to review here very shortly. I always say that, but I'm probably lying. I will put a picture up uh, here of when I cosplayed Hatsune Miku, and I'm a big Vocaloid fan, so this is just icing on top of the cake for something pretty awesome and licensed that they put in this month's box. Alrighty guys, so that was the last item in the box, and it's time for my overall verdict and review. Last month's box is still my favorite, but this box had a lot of cool, fun, and interesting things in it. Last month's box, I feel like it was specifically made for me. This month's box was not that, but that in and of itself is something totally great because it means that it was geared towards someone else. Not everyone's gonna have the same fashion, the same style, and the same interest, so I think it's cool that Doki Doki is adding a lot of different diverse things into each box so that everybody feels like they're getting something that they have wanted from these boxes. I will say that this stuff is totally awesome. I know, again, I probably am not doing Decora any justice by doing this, but I kind of feel like I would want to do something like this again. I like the inclusion of more of the Japan Crate exclusive plushes. I, of course, love the fact that I get to add two more things to my Hopechan collection in my car. Everything else, I am definitely going to be adding to pieces of my collection. I will say the one thing I was a little confused about was the Snoopy blind box character. I know that he was put in here because we are getting an exclusive look at these before they're available worldwide. It just seemed like they kind of threw this in there because they didn't know where else they would put him. I'm kind of interested to see if we're gonna get any more Peanuts stuff, if this is gonna be like an, a recurring thing. I don't hate it, and of course I appreciate anything cute that I can put on my desk. And actually, because it's Snoopy, it might be something that people will feel a little more approachable towards so that they can ask me what it's about. Out. Overall, I think this box was great and it was a lot of fun to open and I, I still can't get over it. Like I'm looking in the little picture thing that I have on my camera and I actually think that this is kind of cute. So like I said, I, I would definitely want to try this again. So that's it for this month's review of the Doki Doki box. As always, you can visit their website at japancrate.com slash Doki Doki if you want to snag a Doki Doki box for yourself. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think of it by leaving me your questions, comments, and feels in the comments box below. If you want to see more crazy randomness from this channel, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and keep up to date on all things Konami Eye. You can find me on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and now Instagram. And as always, this is Konami Ice saying thanks so much for stopping by and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Her fancy sequin squind? Squind, really. In the description, I'll throw up a picture here, it does say squind. A new collectible Snoopy Quee figure coming to you. A new collectible Snoopy Quee figure coming... I can't say Quee.